going to show you how to add um, fractions. Looks like I get my uh, stand sort of corrected. I'm sorry if this is giving you a slight uh, headache. That's it. We're, we're there. Right. So if we're going to add fractions together, it's very, very easy, providing the denominator, the number on the bottom of the fraction is the same. So it's like we're adding three apples to two apples and getting five apples. So our answer is five sevenths. So the denominator is simply telling us what fraction we're in. The top number is telling how many of those fractions we've got. So we've got three one sevenths plus two one sevenths is five sevenths altogether. So that, that's nice and easy. So if the next question was four twelfths plus three twelfths, then you should see straight away it's going to take really all it requires you to do is add the top number and leave the bottom one the same. So nice and straightforward, and that's probably around sort of E grade. It gets more difficult, of course, when the number on the bottom is not the same. And a very, very um, common mistake here is for people to write 7 over 14, but that is not correct. Now, there are two ways um, that we can do this. We can try and find numbers that 5 and 9 both go into and change these fractions so that they both have the same denominator. Now, you might realise that 5 and 9 both go into 45. I'm going to write them both over 45. Now, what we're doing is we're changing 5 ninths, I'll do this down here, into an equivalent fraction out of 45. So what you've got to realise I'm doing then is I'm multiplying my 9 by 5. And to keep the fraction equivalent, I must do exactly the same with the top number giving me 25. So um, so that 5 um, recording, thanks. So someone's just coming to see me, but I'm actually doing a recording, so I can't stop it. So if 9 times 5 is 45, and 5 times 5 is 25. So I write my 25 there. Now, to change the 2 fifths, I'll, again, I'll show you how I do that. So I'm going to change 2 fifths. I want it to be in 40 fifths. So I know that I've times my 5 by 9 to get 45. So I must times my 2 by uh, 9, and I'm writing 5 for, and I get 18 40 fifths. So I now add the 25 and 18 together. That's like adding 25 and 20, and then taking away 2. So 25 and 20 would be 45, take off 2, 43. And the answer then is 43 out of 45. And that's using the method called equivalent fractions. Now there is another method um, that we can use that's called cross multiplying. So I'll show you that method now. And the difficulty with the, uh, the previous question is you did have to know that the lowest common multiple of 9 and 5 was 45. So you had to know your tables. This one you can kind of do it um, in a different sort of way that perhaps is easier. So what we do here is we say right we have to do a cross like this, and we have to say 5 times 5 plus, and then we do a cross this way, 9 times 2 all over the bottom numbers multiplied, 9 times 5. And that automatically puts it over 45 for you. So 9 fives are 45. Then on the top, we're going to have 25 plus 18. And notice that's, that's what we had here, 25 um, plus 18, and the answer, of course, will be the same, 43 over 45. Now, a lot of people like the cross multiplying method, so we'll show you again, 5 sevenths, say, times 1 third. All right, so 3 fives, and you might even say, right, 3 fives are 15, and so we have to write it down, 7 ones are 7, all over 7 threes, 22. So 15 and 7 is 22. Uh, 7 threes is 21. I, I was thinking of the uh, ahead of myself there. So I'll just scribble it out and correct. 21. So we get 22 over 21. Now this is an improper fraction. There will be another video going into more detail on improper fractions, but we can see that 22 goes into 21 one whole time with a remainder 1 over. So our correct answer as a mixed fraction is 1 over, okay, so that's like 1 over, and that's a proper fraction, 1 21st.
Okay, that's adding fractions. I'll quickly um, say before I finish this video that the only difference with subtracting is that the top numbers are, are subtract. You subtract the second number from the first, um, as opposed to adding. Everything else in the technique is exactly the same.